welcome to APM master classes today in this example we will see a method called start activity sometimes what happens is like if you want to automate a OTP message one time password message right uh, there are a lot of apps when you start that app they ask us to enter a mobile number once you enter that mobile number you will get a message all right that means you need to switch to a sms activity and then you need to verify a sms and get the value from the sms and put it into your main application right so uh, right currently I don't have that kind of application but this might be the test case which can help you to resolve your that issue All right so right now I'm going to demonstrate you switching between a contact app and a SMS app All right so I have make down I have put down my test cases let me try to explain you what is my test case my test case is to my there are three test cases test case one test case two and test case three my first test case is to create a contact okay so what it will do is it will open a contact app and create a contact fine in the same session it will switch back to a sms app and select a contact which we have created on test case one and it will send a message right once that test case two has been done then again it will switch back to sms to contact and then it will delete the contact which we have created on test case one fine so what it will do is it will switching between a contact app and the sms app all right okay let's start right so my galaxy note 3 device has been already connected here okay and uh, let me open my apm okay let me close it just wait for a second let let it be start the apm session okay i think apm session has been started or apm server has been started okay now my code okay i will explain you the code later and then right so right now what i am doing here is i have created something right and this is my contact name right sms user and this is a number i have given a random number to uh, create a contact right okay let me execute the script and show you how it is going to be executed right let me start it Uh, my uh, I have done a mirroring through Android screen mirroring uh, so it will take some time to display a content right so please be with me so it has been launched a contact app It's a little bit slow so please wait for some time so it has entered the name now mobile number it is a little bit slow right so maybe you you might feel that it both are not synchronized but my real device has been already executed those steps right so my test case one has been done user has been created right now user has my second test case has been started where sms user has been selected right
now second test case has been done where i have sent a message i have not clicked on the send message so that is the reason it has been only opened the message right it got deleted if you see here there is no failures right i will uh, there are some different issues with because of that you are seeing this but don't worry about that so what i have done is i have launched the contact right and uh, i have launched the contact app and created a contact right then i have launched the sms app and send a message and selected the contact which we have created on step 1 right once the send has been done after that i have relaunched the contact app and deleted the contact fine so this is a way you can switch between two apps whenever you need it right so let me show you here also see all the test cases has been passed right there is no failures right so in the next class we will see how and what all code i have written right so thanks for watching my video i hope you like my videos thank you